Hi guys, we're back for video number two. I hope you're having a great time at the party, because I sure am. But we're just going to um, go over our Lift the Flat books. I love Lift the Flat books. Um, my kids love Lift the Flat books. I don't know of any kid who doesn't like Lift the Flat books. But I know that sometimes it can be really frustrating when your children rip the flaps, which I am guilty of that. So I usually try to um, supervise when my kids are doing Lift the Flat books. So this is um, another baby's very first book, and I show this because there's lots of things in this book. There's touchy-feelies, there's little kinds of, um, a lot of uh, counting things to do, there's a lot of um, tactiles on each page, but then there is also these, um, these flaps. Again, a nice finger trail, and every page will have your flap on it. So again, this is a very good kind of a first um, flat book. Again, most definitely I would recommend um, supervision well, um, while reading this book. It's not, the, the pieces aren't easily torn, but you know, somehow kids find ways to do anything. So next is the peek inside, and there's a whole series of these, and I, I love these so much because they offer a little bit more information than the baby's very first book. But the flaps are also really interesting. They're not in like kind of your normal one piece flap here. And they always have words on the bottom of them. So it's just really like, I mean, look at this flap. Isn't that cool? It's just a really neat um, series. Again, there's a whole bunch of different topics of these. Here's a double flap, one here, and then one beneath it. So that's cool. Again, this is the the Peek Inside series, and there's a whole um, whole series of that. Muddle and Match is not technically a Lift the Flap book, but I like it um, as a Lift the Flap book because uh, it has a lot of big um, black words here, and there's not a lot of them, but they are um, great practice words for alliteration. So all of the words that you see are going to start with um, the same letter. But then on this page, um, it's broken up into three sections, so your child can mix and match whichever one, um, you know, they want to do. And then you can read the story on this side. So it's not a traditional um, lift the flat book, but it can uh, bring a lot of fun, um, and the words get really silly. Next is the Animal Hide and Seek. I love this book so much. Because it has tactiles and lift the flap books, and it's a counting book. So, I mean, like, you're hitting a, a triple whammy there. So, um, here's your lift the flap. Then you have a whole bunch of tactiles, and then you can count the cows. Same thing on this page. Lift the flap. Have all kinds of different touchy feely spots up here. And then you can count the, the pigs one, two, three. And then it just keeps going on and on. But it um, showcases two of our favorite characters, Poppy and Sam, and um, they are in a, another series that I'll show you later on. But again, I love this book, Animal Hide and Seek. Construction Sites is a fun one. Um, again, there's a few other ones. There's Under the Sea, there's Dinosaurs, and Trains, and Tractors. But I love this because the um, each book has a specific object that you're trying to find. In this book, on all of the pages, you're trying to find this little bunny, and he hides under the lift of flaps. So they're really nice flaps, and the pictures are really bright and great. Where is that bunny? Oh, look, there he is. And it's a two-page spread. Again, they're really great and really um, nice to look at. Great illustrations in that book. The colors lift the flap. There's also ones on opposite, and I think there's one on um, telling time. But I love this book in particular because this is a great way for your uh, preschool age kids to start learning about um, their colors. There's lots of um, different fun activities. So the first one is just matching, and it says the color underneath. So you can practice with your child. And then next here are all of these nice questions and it matches. So who's in the 
who's in the huge one in the purple car. So you find the purple car. Oh, it's the elephant. Again, lots of different um, activities to start practicing your colors. The reason I love this book um, is it's just such a great book because it helps kids to um, to practice their mixing colors. So right here, this monkey has some yellow paint and he has some blue paint. And when you mix them together, you get green paint. And the same thing with all of the other colors. You mix all the colors together, you get brown. Great book. Lastly, this is kind of for um, older children, I would say, the, the C inside. The reason this is for older kids is because there's a lot more um, text on this page than in any of our other flap books. But there are over 90 flaps in this whole book. So there are flaps everywhere. And I mean like everywhere. So like it's even hard to find all of the flaps. So like here's a big one. And again, it's got text everywhere. Here's one down here. Uh, where's a fun one? Here's one down here. Over here. Here. So like there's just random flaps on every page. Like here's one up here. But they come with these really great bite-sized information about all of these famous castles um, and palaces. Again, this is a series, so there's a whole bunch more uh, see inside um, topics that you can choose from. So those were just some of the Lotha Flat books that I have. Um, but if you want to find out more, go on to the shopping link and just um, there's a, a a link that will take you to Lotha Flat books. So I'll see you back at the party, and then we'll move on to our next video.